tragedy at Altamont, a Porsche tuner stops short of a record, and Ferrari sets its teaser on stun. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D, you're checking out Fast Lane Daily. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Tragedy struck the 24 hours of Lemons race at Altamont Speedway this past weekend when a California man died at the scene following a crash. 47-year-old restaurant owner Court Summerfield was pronounced dead after the Volvo he was racing hit a wall at a speed reported to be between 50 and 60 miles per hour. Eyewitnesses say the car hit the wall head on without braking or evasive maneuvers. The Lemons Endurance Race is a spoof of France's 24 hours of Le Mans consisting of cars costing no more than 500 bucks. According to a report by the San Francisco Examiner, investigators are working to determine if a health issue may have contributed to the crash. German Porsche tuning shop 9FF says it's zeroing in on the world production car speed record. 9FF officials say the test engineers recently clocked the company's GT9 at 254 miles per hour on Germany's Papenburg high speed test track. The 9FF GT9 started life as a standard 911 turbo, but since then has undergone major surgery to tweak its aerodynamic profile for high speeds. 9FF engineers also moved the engine to the center to increase stability. That engine is a worked version of Porsche's twin turbo flat six, producing 987 horsepower. 9FF's top speed run wasn't certified by those dark beer guys who keep the records. You know the ones. And even if it was, 254 is only enough to match the also unofficial time of the Bugatti Veyron. The current fastest production car is the Ultimate Aero SSC, which turned in an average time of 255.83 miles per hour on a closed highway in Washington State. No word yet on 9FF going for an official record, but they'll still need to find an extra three miles per hour. Maybe they could check behind the seats. After years of speculation on Ferrari's newest model, the company Enzo built went into full tease mode late last week. The company launched a new website to promote the car some are calling the F149. Others are calling California GT, and still others are calling just cut the crap and show us the car already. FerrariGTCountdown.com went live this past Friday at 1 p.m. New York time, showing off nothing but a countdown clock, but including a sound file of the new GT's 4.3 liter direct injection V8. Let's take a listen. We had our forensics engineering staff analyze the audio profile to estimate what the Ferrari GT will look like. Okay, we didn't say they were good engineers. We'll know more when the Ferrari takes the wraps off on May 20th. Next up, new word on a new Mercedes supercar. That's in the internet rumor mill, IRM, right after this. Not the 10-2 position on the steering wheel again, Double D. That's just wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Shame on the 11-1 position. You do drive like a little old woman. Ha ha ha, pussy. Many viewers commented on the recent Supercar Life episodes. Oh, man. And we responded. You're under arrest for driving with your hands at 11 and 1. <laughs> You're resisting. Stop resisting. Send us your comments. Fast Lane Daily. Dangling in your Oh, but... Whoops. Love Fastlane Daily? Subscribe to us on your favorite internet video provider, whether it be YouTube, VO, iTunes. We're there, so go check it out. With Mercedes and McLaren parting ways, the job of building a new supercar will largely fall to Mercedes alone. The UK's car magazine reports the new Mercedes-Benz SLC Gullwing will take up where the Mercedes-McLaren SLR left off. Where it is the new model, codenamed R197, will get a tuned version of AMG's hand-built 6.2-liter V8, producing 550 horsepower. Car says that power grade will propel SLC's new lightweight aluminum space frame chassis from 0 to 60 in around 3.8 seconds. Don't expect a price in the mega bucks range. Car says the SLC will arrive in 2010 at a price of around 300,000 American greenbacks, or about six bucks and a foot massage in the UK. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for Monday. Tune in tomorrow when we pay 500 bucks for a pack of Burton's Jammy Dodgers and Goblin Steak and a Kidney Pudding. Mmm, now that's living.